Now this site has a scheme where a local tree surgeon comes and dumps bits of bark. So I'm going to use some of that to fill in where the paths are going to be. Lettuce in the veg drug is now starting to go to seed and if I wanted to create seed from them I would just leave them and they would shoot up a spike and you would have seed on the end of it but I want to make a bit more space in this veggie drug now so I'm going to harvest them see if there's anything there that can be used in the kitchen the problem when they start going to seed is they become a bit gritty and a bit bitter so I will do another sewing and then that sewing will stay in here then during the winter. So what can you do when your lupins have come to an end? Well what I like to do is I like to leave the stem there and you see all these green pods appearing and they are the seeds and leave them on there until they go quite brown then cut them at the bottom put them into a brown into a brown paper bag don't put them into plastic because they'll start sweating and they'll, they'll go moldy put them into a brown paper bag and then just put them into the shed and forget about them until next spring and then we can sow them next year and have some more plants so the first bed I'm going to tackle today is this one by the side of the shed. Ultimately this is going to be for flowers and shrubs and maybe just around the corner from the shed there somewhere to sow seeds and a bit of a storage unit outside to put some compost and things, pots. So let's uh, start hacking it back. <laughs> On the left hand side there, there's a lot of rubbish and that's a lot of stuff from the previous owner and I've sort of been storing it in that corner but I want to use that corner but for the time being I'm going to leave it all there because we should be getting skips on site in a few weeks so what I might do is I might start the flower bed sort of here and then when I can get rid of all that other stuff I'll then just extend the flower bed and then all this is being taken away and put onto the compost bin Because it's uneven here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this pile of earth 
and just pull it over so to create a sort of divide using the soil between the rubbish and where the bed actually starts. This is the reason why you shouldn't use carpet because it doesn't disappear, it just stays there and soil will fall on top of it, then weeds will grow and it's very difficult to get it out. The question it does raise now though is where the edge of the carpet was is that actually the size of the path because you wouldn't think that somebody would put carpet on the path would you they would put it on the on the edge of their plot but if is that but if that is the case then I'm not bothered I'd rather have a larger path than normal so we can we can comfortably walk down it but I can work that out on another day. It's now time for a cup of tea. So because I intend to put a little workstation down there, I've left this gap on the side of the grape. I will build a frame for the grape in time. So this will be the first flower bed. On a slight angle it starts, going all the way up to the path. Don't know what's going to go in it, other than some shrubs and flowers. So we have a really big flower bed all the way down the side here bit like you see in those old English gardens because I'm quite exhausted now let me go in the shed this fan is really good I can come in the shed stand in front of the fan and feel cool within a few minutes right I'm thoroughly exhausted now so I'm going to have a cup of tea and go home I'll catch up with you next time so for me until then bye for now just before I was about to go home I've got a visitor. Ah, that's the same robin that has been coming to this plot all year. I can tell by the, the mark on the side of his face there. Right, I'm going to head off now. See you next time. Hello, welcome back to the allotment. Now, I've been here for quite a while today, but I haven't done anything. I had a cup of tea and had a quick sleep on one of my beds. And I've woken up now, it's around about, in fact, I don't know what the time is. I'm guessing it's about three o'clock. And it's very, very warm, so it's not giving me a lot of encouragement to get on. But what I thought I would do is, because, let's go outside a sec. This door is rather annoying the way it creaks. So I've come up with a bit of a solution. So my thoughts are, if I put it there, I can then clasp it onto the shed, pop a stick in there, and hopefully that will stop the, uh, the creaking. It's going to be hot over the next few days apparently, 
So I don't know how much time I'm going to get to come down. I just feel exhausted today. I open the door, pop that in there, pop a stick through it, and then that should stop it. There you go, look at that, perfect. Well, it's quarter to six, and we've just spent half the day sat outside the shed just drinking tea. But that's what it's called for sometimes. It's allotments are not all about doing work. You need to schedule a bit of time to sit down and just enjoy the space. So I'm going to pack up now and go home. So not a lot's gone on today. It's been nice to catch up with a few people that I haven't seen for a while. Well, I'm not going down the allotment today. The temperature in London is currently 38 degrees and they say it's going to get much warmer. Although I've just seen on the news now that a thunderstorm is due tomorrow. So that will certainly cool things down because it's absolutely scorching and it's in the wind as well. You come out and you feel a bit of wind, but you can feel that heat in the wind. So I'm staying in the house and close to a fan. Well, just after I filmed the last bit, there was a clap of thunder and it started raining. Well, it's the first time I've been down on the plot since last weekend. We've had the heat wave. We're at the end of the heat wave now. We had a, quite a bit of thunder and lightning and rain overnight. And it was starting to get better, but it's feeling muggy at the moment. So the one task I want to start today is to paint the shed. Now I'm not going to finish it today because I've miscalculated my size of pot that I needed. And this is it. I got a litre and I thought it was a lot. I thought it was a big pot. So I'm not going to be able to do much today, but I, I want to start to uh, paint the shed. Court. I think another one. I might do that on a different day. Let, give that time to dry. Obviously, I haven't done the other two sides, which I will do in time. But I want to get the, the side and the front done first. The sweat is dripping off me now, and it'll give it time to uh, to dry. But I quite I quite like that colour. I was expecting it to be darker, so. We'll see what it's like when I put a second coat on, on a different day. So for me until then, bye for now. When I get a bit more time, I'll finish painting the shed. But today I've been busy inside. So here we have a, a whiteboard, notice board. That's where all your postcards will be going. I have a few to go up already. And this will be pulled out in time. But for the moment, I'm going to use it until the the bench can be built very well exactly the same as I did in in the last shed and this is what I've been doing today I've been so busy I forgot to film so I've moved the fan it's over there in the corner and here's my table so I can make a, a cup of tea and below it is nothing at the moment but I will be putting shelves in there Maybe some of those baskets from Ikea. I think I could get three, possibly four shelves in the bottom. And then up, up, up the top here, maybe a shelf up the top as well. 
So I brought to the radio down today to have a bit of music as I go. I tend to take that home with me because I tend to use it in the day as well in the house. So here it is. This is my new little setup. Well, part of it. The bench may not get done for quite a while. And I've got some jars. These were from Wilco's, five pound for, oh, how many? Three there. 12. I've got 12 jars for five pound, which I think is quite good. Now there was a lot of concern by everybody about the grape that I transplanted. Like I said, wrong time of year. But it seems to have moved fine. And seems to be doing really well there. I've put this stick in and I've actually screwed the stick to the, to the shed as well. So that it's nice and firm for it. So plenty of space. If I want a bit of a suntan I sit there. If I don't, and I just want a bit of peace and quiet in the shed, I come and sit there. Well, that's all from me for now. I'll catch up with you next time. So until then, from me, bye for now. Mm -hmm.